How's it going everyone? Brandon from the Mongmai Guys back with another Let's Read Tower of God video. This time is chapter 129 or season 2 chapter 50 of Tower of God. And boy oh boy did we get a chapter last time. Uh, great fight between Bon and Ron and Nobik. Uh, cliffhanger. Kun showing up where Bomb is. Same room. Bomb immediately knew who he is. We're going to get Kun's reaction this chapter. Let's get right into it right now. Same panel we left off last chapter. Kun walked in the door. He's got a lot to take in what happened here. So, is he going to recognize Bomb? Probably not. Bomb, don't play it off. I, please don't. Got that bunny ear girl. I don't think she knows who Kun is. And then Kun, Bomb looking like... He's saying, Mister. Kun in his head, rabbit ears. Oh, Kun knows who she is, though, because he interrogated that snake guy. What is Mr. Kun doing? Bomb! Say something! He didn't recognize him. He just noticed the bunny ear girl. No big run. Oh, bomb, say something. Hey, wake up, Ron. Damn, I was relaxing. Okay, bunny ear girl's doing something. She says, wait! She's got like a bomb, a detonator. Don't take another step or everyone dies here. Okay, and now bomb realizes she is bad news. Everyone is shocked. Like, what? I installed a bomb inside the hand of Arlene. If I press, <laughs> if I press the button, the hand will be blown up and we all die, so don't move unless you all want to die. Okay. Did not see this coming at all. Wait, what are you? Beep. Her lighthouse just beeped. She didn't press the button though, right? If you don't stay still, everyone here will die. Slayer nominee. Ju Juvile Grace. This is a message. Not from her. If you don't stay still, everyone here will die. Slayer nominee. Juva. Someone is controlling this situation. Not that someone is whoever the bunny ear girl is working for. It might be Fug. Because they're saying Jew Vile Grace. The old Grace. Fuck. This is gonna inhibit Kun and Bomb's meetup. Oh. Uh. Yeah, just the fact they call them that. Slayer nominee. Who's she working with? It is Fug. That's what I thought. Fug. Fucking Fug. Some Fug people are cool. Tower of God, that was opening. Chapter 28, that was right arm. Chapter 9. So Fug is watching them through her. And Kasano's getting up. Oh, because she said so. Kasano, come out. They're both thinking, so he was alive. So she's working with him. So is he working with Fug? Huh. So, plot thickens. Poor Horyang, nobody has checked on him. He's just face down. He picked him up. Are they kidnapping him? He's definitely not dead. If you follow us, I'll let that man live. If you don't, you lose two of your precious friends. He's not... Kun is not going to realize who he is. He's not even going to get a chance. What will you do? Was it a setup from the beginning? So they wanted to get... Huyang and Bomb. Fug. Oh, shh. Is this... The other Slayer nominee, Karakata, the guy with like the mummy wrap around him, is, is this his doing? Because I can understand him trying to mess with Bomb because he's a Slayer nominee and you know they're fighting to be Slayers. But Bomb is the Slayer of Jihad. I know there's like different, more than one Slayer, but um, that's the only person I could think of in Fug right now that would want to fuck with him. Maybe Hung Sung Yu. But they also wanted Horyang, so it's interesting. Maybe they want his power. Are they gonna like extract 
the devil from Casado and Horyang. Damn, plot thickens. Darn, who are you guys? Why are you doing this? Who is your target? Kun has no idea who that's bomb. We're just ordinary regulars who live in this tent village. But not this man. Oh, she doesn't know they know each other. This man is... She's not... <laughs> Kun doesn't know that name. Maybe he does, but he doesn't know that it's bomb. His name is Juvial Grace. He's going to be... And he's, his eyes are covered and his hair is long. Is Kun gonna... Kun's not gonna know. He's going to be the newest Fug Slayer in the near future. They're both saying, oh, oh, so he wasn't an ordinary regular. They probably feel better about losing to him now. He wasn't ordinary regular. Kun is just like, oh, okay. He's not gonna know, though. He's Fug's new Slayer nominee. A while ago, an anonymous man came to me and said that a man will become our... The, that a man who will become our god will visit this place soon, and if I helped him, I'd receive wealth and honor. Yeah, so she was just kind of bribed into doing this. Okay. So I asked what I should do, and he said the god wanted to eliminate the regulars who could be enemy... And he said the god wanted to eliminate the regulars who could be his enemies in the future. He wanted me to kill the outstanding E-class regulars. Okay, so whoever she's talking to in Fug is obviously not speaking for Bomb because Bomb doesn't want to kill E-class regulars. Like, so, but she thinks that he wants them killed, Nobik and Ron and Kun. Yes, so he came here to kill you himself, Kun Ajiro Anjez. Not true. And she, she's so confident in what she's saying, like, Bomb is just there, like, mm -mm. Yeah, if he could just snatch that detonator out of his hand, he's definitely fast enough. Then this whole situation can be turned around. That's why we sent a sp Apple, a spy to your team, and we succeeded in bringing you here. This trap was to catch you from the beginning, Kun Ajiro Anjez. Ajiro on. A Giro, a Giro, Anjas. Apple is a spy, dang. Everything was set up just to catch me from the beginning, so they really didn't need, they just needed Hor Yang to bring Bomb here? She definitely doesn't know the whole story either, though, so there's more to this. The reason Apple came into our team, the reason she gave me the information about the Devil's Right Arm, the ass she was really slick about it then, really nonchalant. The assassin hiding in the sand was just, was all to catch me, for him to kill me, wrong. And the way he's viewing him right now, he doesn't even like, see his face. Bomb is still like, the, fir the first panel here is processing everything, and the second one he just bites down, and the background just breaks. I don't know if that's for artistic effect, or like, the air around him is breaking, he's doing something. I'm guessing it's just for artistic. That's true, Kun Sun, is this Kasano? No, it's oh, he's He's going along with it. Why? Take down the rabbit girl. I tried to kill you, that's why I laid this trap and I and waited for you. Voice change it says on the box. So it's the lighthouse is changing Bomb's voice, so Kun doesn't recognize him. Damn, the author really thought this out. But my mind has changed as I've watched your your fear. I'll be the embodiment of your fear. I think it'll also be nice to see you run away in fear. It will be a, it will be merciful this time. I will be merciful this time and let you go for my amusement. Okay, so bomb's just playing it off. Run away, Kun Agiro Anjas. He's thinking about this as he's saying this. And he's thinking to himself, we won't be able to go back to how we are before, but you can. 
and never dare to meet me again. We can never go back to how we used to be. <sighs> the hair flip and the turnaround and everything. Fuck. That's disappointing. Hey, Slayer nominee. This is Kun. This is Kun, but he's not gonna say that he's bomb. He's just gonna, like, challenge him or something. I don't know where you're from, but you should practice more to be an evil king. Your evil act is, like, right out of a lame novel. Yeah, like, you did the hair flip and everything, and just saying, I'll let you go because I want to see you. I want to see you be afraid. You really sound like you're reading a line. Evil... Evil is born to be an evil. What was that? It's so awkward and lame. Kun, even in the face of danger, death even, still like snickering back at someone. He never really stays complacent. He always speaks his mind. You're trying to let me go on purpose, aren't you? Why? Be straightforward. I can't trick you, Mr. Kun. He's smiling. Or he's gulping. But, I said it all, you can't, I can't tell you the truth. Oh shit, Kun and Ron are about to, Kun and Ron, Ron and uh, Nobik are about to do some, probably gonna try to take down the bunny girl. I'm all for that actually, really. Yeah, he's zapped it out of her hand. <laughs> that panel. That's that's funny. Novik, you should have been more careful. Grab the detonator. Novik. I think Bomb is controlling these lighthouses because... I don't know. They're not his, but... Whenever he does something, they move. Clink, he froze him. Yeah, it looks like he used the Shinsu thing where you freeze them in their tracks. That skill. Ooh, is he gonna pick up on it though? Oh, I'd be happy with that. That skill. He's frozen. It probably is the bunny girl that did that. Let's go, I'll go with you. But if you play around with my friend's life again like this, Bomb, looking real evil there, for real, not just playing a part. Let's go, I'll go with you, but if you play around with my friend's life again like this, I'll kill you all. Woo! That's evil right there, Bomb. Oh, did, yo, know, she got the detonator. Oh, so I guess they just snatched it back from him. My Lord Juvio Grace said he wanted to be nice and to let you go, but you're ruining it with your own hands. I'm furious and now I shall give you death. That's not what he said. Apologize with your death, stupid followers. Stupid fellows, what am I saying, followers? Stupid fellows. I felt it. You're my god from now on. The fuck? She's a, a follower now? She's a weird one. Now, let's begin. So, Kun and Ron and Nobuk definitely got out the explosion in time. But they're going separate ways. Darn, what's that crazy girl doing? A new Slayer nominee is born now. A new Slayer is born now. Rejoice this moment with pain in his fiery, in this, in this fiery hell pit. Yeah, why did she? that she was psycho she's gonna die herself she definitely just killed herself because she's not going anywhere Cassano probably is gonna get away bomb definitely I think she's the only one's gonna die someone's gotta do something though I mean they can't get out there because he's screaming no mr. Kun he heard that no mr. Kun he heard it and I don't think the voice changer was activated right there Kun's gonna realize it was bomb but he's not gonna be able to tell him
The whole hand, oh shit, the whole hand's blowing up. I thought this hand was important. People were telling me to remember this hand, and now it's gonna blow up. Creek. Another, oh, fucking crazy cliffhanger. <sighs> that was an intense chapter to say the least. Didn't have crazy fighting action like last time, but the emotional tension was there, and even uh, with the, the threat of the bomb and everything, definitely had me on the ropes. I don't know if I like it better than the last chapter, but it's definitely a very, very good chapter, without a doubt. Couldn't recognized it was bomb at the end of the chapter. I was not expecting the bunny girl to be working with Fug. Like I said, the Fug person saying this stuff is probably either Karata or Karata, I don't know how to say it, the other Slayer nominee, or Hung Sung Yu. I'm leaning more towards Hung Sung Yu because the little message on the lighthouse had like the little, you know, the little triangles pointing up and that's like a cheeky thing. Hung Sung Yu is definitely cheeky, so I'm guessing it could be him orchestrating this whole thing. But that bunny girl went fucking crazy at the end. She blew everybody up just because she felt awoken by Bomb's threat to kill her. <laughs> it, was, it was so strange, it really was. She blew herself up and potentially the hand and potentially everyone in there, but I don't think that's happening. Still, I'm a little confused though. It's probably just that she wasn't getting all the information, but she said this whole thing was to lure out Kun so Bomb could kill her. Obviously that didn't happen. Bomb didn't want it to happen. Bomb tried to play it off like, okay, you can go. I'm happy that you're afraid now. Couldn't saw through it, and he even saw it was Bomb at the end of the chapter. But the real goal of Thug probably was to get Horiang, I'm guessing. Because Kasano is carrying Horiang, so Kasano probably knows more than this girl does. And he's probably like actually working with Thug and wasn't just paid off like she was. But I'm still dumbfounded that she would just like felt like she was awoken and just blew her she killed herself she did like she didn't think there's that she was gonna live doing that like I'll be surprised if she's alive next chapter but I'm guessing that they wanted Horiang probably has something to do with his devil inside him and I guess they wanted bomb too to I don't know to maybe to give bomb a talking to hey make sure you're staying on the right path of fug but yeah crazy crazy convoluted chapter it just sucks because at the end Kun realized it was bomb bomb played it off like he didn't know him like I thought he would but I didn't think Kun would realize it. He did. But they're definitely not going to be together next chapter because the explosion happened. So it's disappointing, but at least he knows he's alive now, so I wonder how he's going to react to that. Probably going to feel really emotional. Yeah, crazy chapter. Definitely interested to see Kun's reaction next chapter and really why they wanted Horyang, because I'm guessing that's that was a main... Uh, a factor in all this. They wanted Hori Yang. And kasano has got him now, so I want to see what's up with him, too. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Like the video if you did. Um, comment for this video. How did this chapter make you feel? Like, I feel disappointed that Bomb didn't, uh, that kind of went along with the girl's plan. I mean, I understand why. But then Kun recognized at the end that it was Bomb, and now they're most likely not going to be able to meet up for a long time after this, so... I got really mixed emotions. Like, I understand why Bomb did it, but I'm... Almost the fact that Kun... I don't know if I would be more happy if Kun didn't realize that it was Bomb, or that he did. I guess it really depends on next chapter, but let me know how this chapter made you feel when you read it in the comments down below. And subscribe if you like this kind of content. I know I'm like in Tower of God, and I hope you are enjoying uh, experiencing it through me, with me. <laughs> and uh, if you want, you can check out the next video right now on Patreon.com. Not bad. Or uh, if you want to just throw me some support, you can do so on Buy Me a Coffee. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.